Hello, so, okay, today we are gonna be looking at this bike, which is the CCM Maverick. It's part of their Spitfire range, and this is a limited edition. Uh, this is actually number two of 150. We're gonna be doing something a bit different with this. We're gonna be taking it up to the Peak District uh, to have a little ride around there. So we've got quite a long way to go, so we better get started. Okay, so let's have a look at the specs on this bike. Uh, it has a single cylinder four stroke 600cc engine. Um, so, if the red on top looks familiar, that's because CCM have done what they've done since the 70s. Well, Alan Clues uh, bought a load of BSA engines and built the bike around that. Then they did the same thing when they had the CCM GP450, building the bike around a BMW 450 engine. Uh, that's from the G450X BMW. And then with this bike, they did the same thing with the reliable 600cc Husqvarna engine. So, what was it like to ride? Uh, well, to be honest, um, you, you, you don't want to buy this bike if you're going to do long miles, trust me. Um, we, were, we were heading here to the Peak District, sitting at about 70 on the motorway was all around just a horrible experience. Uh, the single engine can handle it, no problem. Uh, but 70 was pretty vibey. In fact, I found that if you pushed it to about 72, uh, the engine would smooth out a bit, but still not the best experience. The seat is also not made for long distance, and there was all sorts of numb bum going on. Uh, but now we're here in the Peak District, and everything's changed. Literally everything has changed. And I'm having so much fun. It's, just, it's great. This is, this, is, this is what the bike was built for. Small roads with twisty corners, riding with friends. No place I'd rather be right now. And no bike I would rather be on, to be honest. Um, so in terms of ride, the ride is the ride is really nice. It corners brilliantly. So you can upgrade the suspension on this. Um, but you know what? The suspension's really good anyway. And I personally, I think it's about £4,700, something like that to get the, the full-blown Olin suspension upgrade, and I just don't think it's worth it. I don't think you need it. Um, brakes are great too, all round. Just, just feels great to ride. The key for this bike is about where you ride it. Stick to B roads and you'll have a grin on your face all day. I think I'd rather spend four hours getting somewhere on this and doing twisty B roads than sitting for kind of two hours on a motorway and having an umbum and feeling rubbish. So how does it look? Well, when it comes to looks, well, look at it. Look at it, look, it's just stunning. I mean, really, really genuinely stunning. Sam, who you may know from Adventure Bike TV, is a graphic designer by trade, and he's forever frustrated with people saying to him, I want a modern yet old looking design. It's an impossible task, but actually I think somehow CCM have managed it with this. Not just the, the Maverick, but the whole Spitfire range. It's a testament to the designer, Christopher Radcliffe. Um, slightly off topic now, but Chris has left to go and set up his own motorcycle company called Langan. Um, and I hope they find a good replacement for him for whatever comes next after the Spitfire range, because um, he's, he's just such a great designer. And you can see that kind of Spitfire feel in his other, uh, his other bikes that he's designing now. Anyway, I digress. Uh, back to the looks. Smooth lines, they're beautiful, functional at the same time, and let's be honest, one of the main reasons you're going to buy this bike is the looks. And you will get attention. People will look at it, take photos of it, swoon over it, and rightly so. Best thing about the bike, well obviously it's the looks. But I, I think it can overshadow this machine. I can't help but see it as a beautiful woman who has so much more to offer than looks, but everything else gets overlooked because they're so pretty. It's the same with this bike, it has so much more to offer. So I will put aside the looks for this and say something else. So my favourite thing would be it, sound, it sounds amazing. It does sound amazing, but that's not my, my favourite thing. <clears throat> the ride is great, but it's a bit too specific to be in the right location. Um, okay, I'm going to hate myself for being this superficial, but my favourite thing about this bike is the looks. Uh, and the looks I get while riding it. I mean, I know people are admiring the bike, but I like to think they're admiring me too, because I'm the one who had the good taste to buy such a beautiful bike. Worst thing about the bike is probably just the bike's limitations, I guess, where you can ride it. I mean, you can ride it off-road, we proved that in the Most Cycle Olympics on Motorbike TV. And on the lovely B roads around the Peak Dress, it's just great fun, and I, I'm absolutely loving this bike. But if you have to travel on any sort of motorway or dual carriageway to get to these places, 
well, you're going to be fed up, tired, and with a numb bum before you get to the places you want to ride. So what would I wear on the bike? To be honest, I think, you know, it's a classic looking bike. You want something that looks good and looks classic as well. So, you know, for me, it'd be something like the Bellstaff uh, Brooklyn's 2 jacket. Um, just, it, it kind of matches that lovely kind of classic feel with the modern slight modern take to it which is actually what you get with the Brooklyn's too because it's that old look of a jacket but at the same time it's been fully uprated now with you know tape seams and D3 D30 armor etc etc um, helmet wise not even a question um, Scorpion have brought out this HX1 carbon like a carbon version carbon ESSE something like that carbon SE I think it is and it's gorgeous because the great thing with that is like I'm riding now uh, where I have a peak and goggles you can do that or you can also change the visor over for a gold visor um, there's lots of different setups to it but actually I just think with the carbon and the gold it just kind of fits well with this kind of bike I think that's that would be my helmet of choice for this on the lower half of your body you're gonna get some jeans of course riding jeans um, and I think you know you want to keep the Bellstar theme just go with the Resolve boots there you know, um, they're kind of really nice kind of uh, leather full grain leather riding boot there probably what I would wear on this if if that was the Bellstar fitted me um, <laughs> do, Bellstar does fit a bit small so it doesn't really fit me terribly well but if I could fit it then that's definitely what I'd be wearing right now don't forget we'll review all those things on our Woodrow's Reviews channel if you want to have a look at them now, how does it make me feel? Happy. So, 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 so very, very, very happy. I love it. Every time I look at it, I smile. And when I'm throwing it around some great B-roads at 50, 60, it's just great. I also feel proud to own one. I say own, I mean it's on loan. Uh, but I'm proud to be the person on the bike, nevertheless. I love knowing that I can also do a bit of off-road if I want to. Um, all round it's just a pleasure and I think it helps that I'm short so many of the bikes I ride are these tall adventure bikes so it's nice to actually also have a bike where I can put my feet flat on the floor and feel kind of nice and planted value for money well, yeah, this one's a bit harder the bike in its, this form as it is without the kind of Olin suspension or any of the other little bits and bobs that you can get with it is 9995 um, and you might think well that's that's on the pricey end of the market for a for a single 600 cc engine that doesn't even have an automatic choke um, but I think you're wrong genuinely I think you're wrong this bike is a thing of beauty it's it's limited edition only 150 are going to be made and at the moment the CCM Spitfires are really really holding their value so actually as a possible future classic it might be actually excellent value for money now and a great investment choice for you know 15 20 years down the line so would i have one in my garage absolutely but absolutely without a doubt but with with a caveat on there if i could only have one bike it wouldn't be this this is your classic second or third bike it is not your primary bike. It's not the bike you're going to use on a day-to-day -day basis. This is something for those special occasions, something you'll take outside and ride when the weather is glorious and riding with your friends or go on the gentleman's distinguished gentleman's ride, those kind of things. It, it's something special, too special to be used on a day-to-day -day basis. Although, of course, it could be. But I just think for me, I'd want something that can eat up miles for a, for a day-to-day -day runner. Um, but for me, without a doubt, as a second bike, this is the dream. This is the dream. It's just perfect in my eyes as that second bike. It won't be for everyone, but for me, definitely, definitely is.